Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, and I'm Ming, and I'm from Shanghai. Um, I'm quite a new model. I just been around for a year. Now I live in New York. <laughs> uh, I I I study in school, and um, university. I still left one year, so I might go back after this, but I don't know when. What were you studying for? Fashion. Oh, fashion. Fashion design or? Uh huh. Ah. But <laughs> <laughs> I cheated. I mean, like, uh, um, you know, uh, sometimes our my sewing is really bad. So I, you know, and the drawing is not very good. Mm. And then like, uh, um, teachers sometimes give us like homework, like drawing the like gown or like whatever the outfit. Mm. I just copied. <laughs> <laughs> My school is is the yeah m most big big biggest one, so it is like you can see everyone like staying fashion industry in Shanghai. It's like maybe like all the magazine, um, mm. the staffing magazine, they graduated from my school. Wow! So it's kind of like person in New York, oh, the Martin, Martin here. Yeah. So. So you're at a good fashion school. It's good. It is a good fashion school, <laughs> but I'm not a good student. I want to see. Look, no, I want to see the fashion. I want to see your clothes. I I'm excited to see them in a few years. Oh, quite hard. I think so. <laughs> How were you first discovered as a model? Mm, when I was at university, and then my mother agent. Uh, now for now, mm. they they come to find girls, and uh, that's elite. Though they have elite model look, and then they ask, do you want to come to the contest? And I said, mm, that's not bad. And then, yeah, they sign. So then I start work in Paris. And your first show was Givenchy, wasn't it? Yeah, a uh, haute couture. Um, and. Now you were saying that you live in New York. Yes. Um, how different do you find living in New York to to living in Shanghai? Mm, it's quite same, just because Shanghai is a modern city as well, but Shanghai is bigger, so I find living in New York is much easier. So Shanghai is bigger than New York. Yeah. Mm, you can't walk. You have to have car, or after you, if you take subway, after you get off, you have to walk or change another bus or something. And um, kind of culture, do you find the people different in New York to Shanghai? Mm, yeah, because Asian is more, you know, close. So I'm so surprised when I. First time in New York, I walk on the street and the people say, "Oh, I love your shoes," and then walk, walk, and oh, I love your outfit. I'm like, "What? <laughs> you can't imagine if Chinese, if you go to China in Shanghai, even that's a, you know, like many people there, big city, there's no one g gonna say like, I love your <laughs> shoes.' If someone says I'm gonna be crazy, <laughs> and um, I'm also interested, is there a um Kind of a great interest in in fashion mm. in China. Yes, because it's developing. So it, I think they they're not very. Um, I mean, they still, you know, developing. <laughs> so that that means it's not as professional as here. Mm. But still, people work very hard, and they try to um, be better. So in Shanghai, is it, you're seeing lots more kind of um, fashion boutiques moving in and things like that. Fashion boutiques, like kind of that? fashion shops and fashion brands opening shops in Shanghai. Yeah, they have like local designers, more and more mm. designers, new designers. They came out, and then they have shops, so you can find m many interesting stuff there. Mm. It, you know, it's different because they they might some of them are very Chinese, but some of them they they may be um, they they have how to say that? they have learned 
he, like in New York or London, and they came back, so they mix East and West. And do you miss? Do you miss Shanghai? Mm, I miss my dog. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy I live in New York. New York is a good place to stay. Do you feel, as, as a model, that there's a difference between the couture shows and the ready to wear? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, ready to wear, you you be, you know, um, elegant, beautiful, as well. But I think the big dress sometimes you have to be more elegant and. Uh, mm. Is it more intimate as well in the way that they kind of are fitting the clothes on your body because a lot of the houses adjust the couture clothes for the models, like very, you know. It's more interesting for me to know like how the gun they made because when they, when you do fitting and they might, they just switch some like buttons or the little pieces. So, mm. and then you know like all the dress they make like step by step, it's not like the dress you, you, you have already seen shop, like you just put on and that's it. Mm. And they made it, that's quite fun. Does it feel different actually wearing it? Like physically, do the dresses feel different to, like do the couture dresses feel different to ready to wear? Because I've uh, never worn them myself, so no, I don't know. It's, it, it's, very, it, it's a very exciting thing you wearing big dress because I think every girl have a princess in their heart. So when you like be dressed like in, you know, haute couture, I mean, that's really big and expensive dress. And when you're wearing it, you're very happy. You just feel you like a princess. Are you a little bit scared as well with the dresses? Or? Um, I think first time, might be. Hmm. But as a model, you will g get used to that and then you will so, you know, you have more feeling, you want to like swing the dress, let, let people see how beautiful the dress is. Because as well, your, the Givenchy Haute Couture was your first show, wasn't it? That was your... Yeah, show. but uh, that show, I, I didn't have big dress. I have um, a feather, black feather shorts mm. like this, and the top is a black shit with lace or something. Mm. So it's, it's not the first time with... <laughs> It I wasn't the big yeah, gown yeah. to start with. Any step by step. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.